Hello everyone, this is going to be a test video showing the Comma 3X and Sunny Planet 0.9.6 handling an interchange here. Interchange ramp starts right now. And you can see it's enabled. There's the cyan border around it. So that means it's doing the steering. I'm controlling the speed. And you can see here's a split without a lane line marking. And it handled that pretty well. Took the left fork like it should. And then here it is on the ramp. Let's see how it does. It should be able to hold the middle of the road without deviating too much towards the lines. You can see it's doing pretty well around the sharp turn. The stock system from Hyundai Kia would just cancel out over the bridge before. So you can see it's handling that pretty well. And then we have another curve here before it straightens out. So let's see how it does. Been able to take it hands free so far. And here's this other curve. Let's make sure there's no car on that side. Um, but you'll see it is getting a little close to the line, but did pretty good. And yeah, did really good there. So they really improved the algorithm and just do a lane change right there as normal. So yeah, they really improve the algorithm when it comes to curves, going around curves, especially during the day when you have good uh, visibility, even at night too, it's been improved. So let's go take a look at another interchange, a more simple interchange ramp, and let's see how it does over there. Hello everyone, so we're over here at the other interchange of Interstate 10 and Interstate 25. This is a more simple ramp. We're gonna take this ramp to I-10 West towards Deming. And you can see there's no forks, it's just a simple split here, but let's see how it does on the curve. We'll slow down a bit. So we're going about 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers an hour, around what the curve is rated for. So you can see it's holding the lane pretty good and pretty well centered, not going too far to the right towards the shoulder or too far to the left. So that's really good. And yeah, you can see there it's outputting about 13 degrees of steering. So yeah, and then we have another merge here. So here's a, a very short merge. So we'll just speed up and signal and nudge the wheel to confirm. And you can see it did that pretty well. You don't have much merge distance for that ramp, but it still handled that really well. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this uh, daytime interchange test of the Comma 3X and Sunny Pilot 0.9.6. Thanks for watching everyone, be sure to check out my other videos, I have a bunch more Comma 3X tests and also some EV6 road trips and charging tests. So get subscribed so you don't miss out on any of those videos. Thanks for watching everyone.